today I'll be explaining how this works. So first, let's start out with the Archimedes screw. And it works like this. And the outlet on the other side looks like this. So basically what's driving this is this end motor. If I take this off, you can see has a gear reduction. And then after that, it travels through this gear and up this universal joint here. Right there. And that's what gives it the jerky movement. It prevents jams, apparently. And then if anything gets in the way, you know, something stops, this clutch gear could keep turning. And then I have another gear reduction up here. And then the Archimedes screw is in the middle. So you may be wondering how I have this screw attached to these bricks. I take it off, the gear reduction part. See this? I have it attached with these two. I don't know what you call them. And at the top, this is just balancing here onto the next module. So now I have this module, which is similar to LEGO GBC's Dragon Tilt, but it's not quite the same. So I'll turn it on here. So this one works with a counterweight. You push this in and it just falls back into place due to this. This is the counterweight on the back. This is the platform that the Archimedes screw output was sitting on. So it's using a direction changing mechanism driven by an M motor. So again, I have another clutch gear inside of here just in case a jam happens. And a worm gear at the bottom. Then it transfers the motion into this and then into this driving ring, which it's in the middle at this moment. That changes the motion to back and forth. And you gotta stop the GBC when this is either on either side or it will jam up. This cart up here will fall down if you don't do that. So I am going to give you better detail of this by removing the cart and all that mechanism. So basically, this thing just changes the driving ring back and forth. So it goes like this. And it changes the direction. And that's really all it does for this one. So basically after that, the balls fell into this module here and then this is the one run by the speed regulator so you turn it on one click to the left and it simply picks up the balls and then drops them into a conveyor belt which pieces fell off which doesn't matter and then it drops them into the next module you can see everything or not everything but so you get this axle turns this gear and the conveyor belt. So this is the motor port here. I could take this off too. You can see that there's two big conical wheels here that take advantage of the motor too. 
And then to the spinning disc module. There are three gears here. If I could show you, take this chain off. Behind this conical wheel is another chain with another tensioner that um, there's a chain attached to this one that attached to this gear and that gear went around and then it basically I put a whole nother system behind it you could see this is it makes another gear reduction for the spinning disc basically that's all there is for this one this is probably the most gearing I've ever used in something this simple so this module is Akiyuki's Step module version two. I have to give him credit for that in order to use it. So I'm just gonna put some balls in it. Aim the light and start it. This is how it works. So as you may have noticed, some of the balls may have fallen on this area because the next module was not on. And down here for the gearing, it's driven by an extra large motor. And gear reduction here, oops, here to here, and then here to here. Um, and then over here, he was smart enough to put a counterweight, uh, counterweight for this, because these things are actually quite heavy. Basically, that's about it. Now, this one's basically a flinger. Here, I'll just turn it on and show you how it works. And it's as simple as that, but the mechanism is quite interesting. So the mechanism, the mechanism of this one is basically a ton of gears. Look how they move. That's exactly why I used an extra large motor for this. Yeah. So this is Akiyuki's ball picker module. I think it's pretty interesting and cool to watch. And here's how it works. Again, with taking it apart, I bent this so not so it's, it's not stable. So this gear ratio here was hard to achieve. This one here and here, that one was hard to achieve. I need to experiment with a bunch of different angles in order to achieve it. Basically, the motion travels from this small gear to the mm, bigger one, to the dark gray, to the red, and then there's a smaller one in the back that turns this. And then the mechanism, look at that. And that's basically it. But before I go, go to planet-gbc.com. If you like GBCs, you could build your own modules they have instructions for all these modules on the table nearly. Oh, look at that. And basically, and I'm not, they're not sponsoring me. I just like them so much.